I started as a costume designer. Um, I was hired by Alan Parker to do Fame back in 1979. I had never designed costumes for a film before, but I had made clothes when I was in high school. And so I just did it. Similarly, when I transitioned from costume design to production design, I still didn't think twice about it. I just did it. Similarly, with directing, um, I had never thought about making a documentary before. I was not as afraid of it as I thought I would be. Um, because when you get into something, whatever it is, I find if you plunge yourself in full tilt, you almost forget what you've done. That you've made the transition, but you'd never, you, you weren't watching yourself make the transition. You just did it. This came to me as a result of seeing Scorsese do a fabulous piece on Dylan and Jonathan Demme doing a fabulous piece on Neil Young. And I thought to myself, I want to do a great movie about this woman who I'd met, Elizabeth, and I just did it. I, and interestingly enough, when I said to Elizabeth, how would you like it if I would make a film about you, she said, I'd love it. So suddenly I got propelled, you know, launched into the whole notion of doing it. When I started, obviously, um, costume design is a fairly easy uh, vocation for females, according to everybody in the film business. But when I tried to segue over into production design, that was a lot more difficult because there weren't that many women doing this kind of work when I was doing it. Um, and that was a big deal, uh, to, to have uh, people in the crew calling me the girl um, because they couldn't remember my name or because they didn't imagine that I was actually uh, going to be the one telling them what to do. I was kind of aware very definitely of how difficult it was in the film business. But then when I started doing the Elizabeth Murray piece, I realized that she was going through the same problems as a female artist. I kept telling myself the show was not political or in any way a critique of the modern collection, but of course it is. There was no other question in my mind it was Meryl. So I went over to her and I said, you know, you have been on my mind. Uh, I'm doing this documentary about Elizabeth Murray, the artist. And she said, oh. And I said, yeah. And there are these uh, amazing journals. And she said, send it to me. So I called up everybody. I said, we got to send this to Meryl immediately. Um, and then we didn't hear from her. And I thought, oh, dear, you know, so much for that. And then she wrote me the most wonderful email. And maybe for me, doing the show was a way of looking at questions I've avoided. And she just took it to such a different level. She sounds just like her. Doesn't she? <laughs> she channeled her. Yeah. I mean, Elizabeth was in the room. <laughs>